Hi Sam, how you doing today? I'm alright, how are you? Not bad, thanks for asking. What's been going on? Um, so a lot of things I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, life is happening. Uh, but I'm specifically here because my, I've been doing some things my parents were not, my family was not super crazy about. Mm -hmm. Um, so they thought I should talk to somebody. Uh, what is it that you've been doing that they're not, uh, so happy about? It's not even a big deal, really. Um, it's just, you know, occasionally just having some fun. Um, you know, when friends come over or just like whatever, just grabbing things and kind of taking them myself. So, you know, and it's not, it's just, it's just for fun. So it's like, you know, my brother's girlfriend was over and she left her purse on the floor. So I, I just like grabbed her lipstick out of there, you mm -hmm. know, and just moved it into my room or whatever. And then, um, like the other day, my mom, left her purse out so I just you know I grabbed her sunglasses out of it um or like there was just some trinkets in my grandmother's house that were you know from her sister or whatever um and she had four of them so I took two you know just out of the center mm -hmm. so just like you know fun things like that and how long have you been doing this um probably like six months seven months That's six months yeah and just here the, and there, though. Just here and there? Yeah. And what have the consequences been? Um, well, at first, I mean, no one really noticed. Mm -hmm. um, but then all of a sudden it would be like, you know, like someone would be like, oh my gosh, where is this? Or like, um, it would just sort of like trip people up. You know, they'd go to look for something and swear they put it there and it was gone. Um, and nobody else really knew what was going on, but I knew where it was. Mm -hmm. um, and then recently it's gotten to be more like people are getting a little ticked off when they're going to look for things and they're not there. Um, so it's caused more of an escalation than it used to. They're not seeing it the way I'm seeing it. So you're seeing it as entertainment? Yeah, yeah. you know, it's something, it's it's just good natured fun, you know, it's mm -hmm. not like not hurting anybody. And they're interpreting it a little differently. Yeah, they're saying it's, you know, I'm taking things that aren't mine or you know, I'm messing with people intentionally, or I'm being vindictive about it, or whatever. Do you give the stuff back? No. No? I mean, no. Can you see how, from their perspective, they might be not thrilled? I mean, I can see it, mm -hmm. but I just don't think they're... I can see their perspective, but they can't seem to see mine. So it's not, it's not fair? I guess, yeah, I guess not. I mean, I think if they could, if they were seeing it from, you know, it's just fun and I'm enjoying myself and, you know, life is short, so I think if they loosened up a little bit, they would see it through my lens. But that doesn't seem to be happening. No, not really. Are you worried about this problem? No. So for you, it's not really a problem at all? No. I mean, it's, you know, it hasn't, I mean, if it got, if my parents keep making an issue about it, it could be a problem. Um, but I think it's more of a problem for other people, you know, they're bothered by it. So you're here today because other people have a problem with your behavior? Yeah. You're okay with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. Do you know for what reason you started? Um, well, I think there's probably a lot of different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, my parents weren't always like overly generous people, so I didn't have a lot of things, you know, a lot of things that other kids had. And um, I spent a lot of time with my grandmother, and she was really restrictive with what toys I could have in the house. And so it was always like looking for things to play with, and looking for this, or looking for that. and or if I would want something and I would grab it, she would kind of be like, no, you can't have that. You're too young for that or you're too whatever. And so it was just, you know, I wanted things and I couldn't have them sometimes. All right, so in the in the past, there were some things that happened that you think uh, may have led to this. How about kind of in the, in the here and now, like currently? What do you think leads to it? I don't 
think there's anything right now as much. I think I think it's definitely a lot of the stuff from, you know, before or my parents or I don't know, maybe my siblings. They had a lot of things I didn't have. Mm -hmm. So so the way you look at this is that those relationships like with your siblings, for example, the way those relationships went led to your problem now. Yeah, I think so. Or led to the what's perceived as the problem. Yeah, you know. that makes sense. If we look at if we look at what we can do currently, right? Like, so you have this you have this situation where you're behaving in a way and it's being perceived in a way that's not going to be helpful to you. Right, they're yeah. they're not pleased with you, and uh, there's potential consequences there. So kind of kind of moving away from the past and kind of moving to the present. What can you do? What are some alternatives to taking property yeah. and and uh, not giving it back uh, that you could use to meet the need for fun? Because that seems to be a, a theme, is that you find this enjoyable? Yeah, I like it. like it. So is there any other way, any alternative behaviors that you could use that would be fun but wouldn't involve uh, taking anything? Um, you mean like going somewhere or like going out with friends or something? It could be. What, what, what's fun for you other than what you're doing now? What's been fun in the past, in the recent past? Um, well, I like strategy, so, or like problem solving, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, I used to play a lot of like video games. Like real time strategy games? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Why'd you, why'd you stop playing those? Um, well, my computer died, so it just sort of. You know, that pretty much made it pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of stopped. I didn't have the money to go get it fixed. And with my parents weren't, you know, like, well, here, here's the money to go do it. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of cut it off right there. So that stopped the playing of video games, and you found that fun. Yeah. Especially the strategy part. Yeah, yeah. I liked the unexpected elements. I liked winning a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I liked beating boys at their own game. Mm -hmm. So I enjoyed it. So how long after the um, computer failed did you start with this new behavior? Probably like two weeks. Within a couple weeks? Yeah, it, was, yeah. it wasn't it was that far away. I wonder if that's not a more immediate cause of what's happened. You had something enjoyable to do. You're meeting the need for fun, yeah. And that was removed from you, and you found an alternative that does have an element of strategy. Right? Yeah. Hmm. I never thought about that. Is there any way to return to that? Uh, is your computer still broken? Yeah. yeah. Any other way to return to that activity of, of playing strategy video games? I mean, there is there's this club at school. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I haven't really thought about it, you know, going, but they have computers there and there's people there and they all play, so I guess, I mean, that could be an option. It's like a video gaming club? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they get together and stuff, so, I mean, that doesn't sound bad. Yeah, so it has a social aspect to it, and you could play the type of games you like? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Do you think that would be more, a more productive choice than what you're doing now? I think it would probably not make my parents as angry. <laughs> they wouldn't be as angry? <laughs> yeah, I think it would probably release some of the tension, um, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't mind, I like it, so I wouldn't mind going back to something I actually enjoy doing. So it would meet that need for fun? Yeah, I love it. All right. Uh, let's do this then. That seems to be a, a healthy and productive alternative 
to what you're doing now. Does that sound accurate? Yeah, that's true. And something that, based on the recent past, appears like it would work in terms of yeah. meeting the need for fun. Yeah. What does it take to join this um, video gaming club? I think I just show up. Is that easy? Yeah, I think yeah. I sign, show up and sign up, and it seems like it's a pretty open thing, so I don't think it would require too much effort. All right. So is there a time this week you think you could go there and kind of join that club? Yeah, I mean, I could go try on Thursday after class. On Thursday after class? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Is that a plan you feel you can commit to, you can follow through with? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I can do it. I can try it. You can try it? Yeah, I can try it. All right, so let's do this. Um, I'll see you again in a week. So this Thursday, mm -hmm. go ahead and stop by and do what you need to do to sign up for the video gaming club. Okay. See what that experience is like. Uh, maybe before I see you again, you've gone there a few times, depending on how that first experience is. Okay. And refrain from the other behavior. Okay. Right? Yeah. That seems to be not working for you. Yeah. And and focus your energy and, and try to meet your need for fun with this new behavior. And okay. let's just see how that goes. Um, I'll see you in a week and we'll review that and we'll, we'll make our plan from there. All right, that's fair. Does that sound good? Yeah, I can do that. All right. I appreciate you coming in. I'll see you next week. All right, thank you. Thanks.